Well, welcome back. We're seven games in. We're unbeaten. We're top of the league. And everything's going brilliantly. Mostly. Let's get on with it. Okay, well, welcome back to the first game um, of today's episode. Uh, as you can see, we're away to Parham, who are sixth in the table. Uh, five points behind us, but with two games in hand, so they could get above us if they uh, win those games in hand. Um, so a win against this lot would be very useful to be able to prevent them from doing that. Uh, one transfer to catch you up with. Um, uh, Javon Joseph, uh, right winger, who we can't use as an inside, inside forward. Um, because that would require putting him on the left because he's very right-footed and I want him to come on, obviously, on his natural foot. Um, so when he's in the side, we play him as a winger, not an inside forward. Why do I keep on trying to say inverted forward? I don't know. It's very strange. I've never done that before, and now I keep doing it. Um, <coughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, so, uh, like I say, away to Parham. Let's have a look at and see what the lineup's going to be. Um, low crosses? No, I'm not sure. I need low crosses. Uh, how fit is everyone? Everyone should be pretty fit because we just had the international break, um, which means we should be able to go with pretty much our first choice lineup, uh, which does now mean that um, Jordan Brown here, who is actually, a, as you can see, a right midfield, right winger, um, who I'm converting to wing back, um, much against his wishes by the scenes of things. But he does seem to play better there than our actual genuine right backs. Um, and Bentley is still kind of being punished for being stupidly sent off um, a couple of games ago. Um, plus, as you can see, his average rating, not exactly that impressive. Um, actually slightly worse than Brown's. So I'm going to go with it. But I think, and again, also our left back, actually, that is a point. Talking of our left back, uh, Walsh. Where are you, Walsh? I could have sworn you're... Why is... Why can I not see Walsh? Oh, because he's actually in the lineup playing at centre-back. Right. Well, let me swap those two round, because Isaac actually should be a centre-back, and Walsh is our left-back. Um, I must have... I think I did ask for the selection advice to get the first team back roughly how it should be, and... Um, my assistant obviously seems to think that Walsh is better at centre back, but he's not. He's better the better option at left back. Um, and yeah, we'll go with uh, go with that. So Benjamin Walsh, Isaac Jones, Brown, Knight, Graham, Tumwa, Matthew Flowers, and Rivero. So let's see if we can keep the unbeaten run going. And um, I think Parham are supposed to be one of the better sides in the league, and that's borne out by the fact they have started with four wins out of their first five games. Um, my team don't really seem to react very much to my team talks at the moment. I mean, the midfielders do, actually, seemingly. And the forwards, the defenders don't trust me. But then half of them probably think they're playing out of position. Jordan Brown, how are you complacent? What have you got to be complacent about? You're average at best. Um, okay, right, let's save that. Uh, Charing seems to be playing a different position, does he? He should be playing box-to-box -box midfielder like he always does. Um, okay. Well, uh, yeah, versatile. Hmm. Uh, atmosphere's really strong. Okay, as you can see, they've got their uh, decent form. We come into it with pretty much just as good form ourselves. So this is really the big game of the weekend. And probably our toughest encounter yet. Um, although we did play Hoppers, who are second, and we did beat them. So, um, there's our ghastly kit again. <laughs> if I could change one thing about this team, it would be that kit. And, right, let's give the boys a shout of encouragement. Oh, there we go. There's our first shot. And we are getting... The better possession, which we tend to do, it's the way we play. We play possession football. Um, not exactly a thriller, though, is it, this one? 
I mean, oh, hello, here we go. Uh, is that both my centre backs on a booking? That's good. Half an hour in, that won't come back to bite us in the ass. Mm. Mm, hello, Flowers gets it. Oh, Rivera, you've got to go across the keeper from there. I mean, I know he saved it, but if you go across the keeper, you don't really give him much of a chance, do you? Oh, go on, hit it, Flowers. Oh, stunning strike. Good save. Hmm. Right, let's not concede on the counter. Let's not have all that be their highlight, as it turns out. Oh, good chaff. Good tackle, Knight. Well done. Hmm. Yeah, see, again, we are proving the better, better side, just about. Hmm. I mean, I'll take a point from this. Quite happily take a point from this. Um, away to one of the better sides in the league who've made a very good start. I will take a point. Uh, right, let's say we are the better team here. Come on, believe in yourselves, boys. Yeah, you see, Jordan Brown, I bigged you up earlier. Well, kind of. I said you were better than Bentley. It's not really much of a bar to clear, admittedly, but get your ass in gear, Brown. I know you're learning the position, but sort your life out. Oh, how is he that unmarked? Why are you all just sat back there? I mean, to be fair, I haven't actually done anything with the set pieces, but actually he is marked there and you just let him go. Who, who is this? Who are you? Matthew? You need to learn if someone moves towards the goal, go with them. Hmm. Hello, straight from the kickoff. Let's not go two goals down in two minutes. Straight after the half second. Half time uh, break of, of our first half, we were looking good in Matthew. Oh, oh, go on, Flowers. Yes, come on, Ronaldo Flowers puts us immediately back on terms. Oh, right. And Matthew was involved, so kind of making up for the fact that he didn't actually bother marking the man who scored from their free kick. And again, there we are. See, we are the better side here. Let's dish out a little bit of encouragement. Mm, Brown is still playing appallingly badly. I'm going to have to get you off. Um, quite brilliantly, I don't actually have a right back on there. Mm. Uh, right, well, I know TJ Stevens has been given some instruction at playing back so I'm just gonna have to bung you on as a body really aren't I? <sighs> I mean we are having a bit of a problem with Brown because he doesn't train well because he's trying to learn a new position and it, he's struggling with it and when I criticize him for it he just goes off on one every single time and it's like well train better then idiot I know you're learning a new position, but it's on the same side of the pitch. You've been playing it in games reasonably well. Why can't you train at it properly? <sighs> but, hey-ho. Oh, hello. <coughs> Yasne Rivero with his fifth of the season. <coughs> and all of a sudden, we're 2-1 up. Have a look who sets this up. Knight plays it in flowers, slips it in Rivera, giving too much space. And yeah, keeper could have got there, couldn't he? Probably, but I have found the keepers in this league to be really quite poor. I mean, Benjamin, at times you question whether he has arms, and then he went and saved a penalty. It was, yeah, <coughs> and he was actually man of the match in that game, oddly. Um. So he can do it, he just doesn't seem to be able to do it very often. And he is also still the only goalkeeper we've actually got, so we are really short-staffed at goalkeeper. Oh my word, that was a that was a hit and a half from Knight, good save. <laughs> Gives us a corner, Tumwa to swing it in. And just headed away, probably going to be the end of that. Oh, well done Matthew, yeah, because you know that wouldn't have gone out without your help. <sighs> and again, I mean, we have basically dominated this game, controlled possession reasonably well. Decent XG and a good win. Nice work, boys. Never really in too much doubt after we equalised straight away. So, 
Um, yeah, okay. Apparently, nobody gave us a chance. Well done, despite the fact we, you know, we're top of the league. Uh, do need to have a word with Jordan Brown, who probably won't take the criticism well, but stuff him. Um, right, you were abysmal. It deserved to come off. Oh, you're demotivated. Oh, you poor little lamb. Get on with it. Uh, yeah, we deserve this. A comeback. Uh, I am ecstatic. Will that have a galvanising effect on the team? I thought you just told us that we were already doing well and looked like a sort of a basically together unit, but... Yeah, hopefully it's something we can build on. Right, well, now, even if they win their two games in hand, they can't catch us. So we are still, after everyone's played eight times, definitely going to be top. So we are officially top now. Um... Right. Well, we'll see you in three days' time for the SAP game. I believe they're struggling. They're 12th. So hopefully home to 12th place in the league. Let's rack up another win, shall we, boys? OK, here we are, our second game, uh, just around the corner. And we've got a couple of changes that need making. Um, Bramble is going to go in for Isaac. Probably put Stevens in for Jones as well. Actually, let me just stick Stevens on the left-hand side so they're a bit fitter. Tumwa is a little um, <coughs> unfit, so we'll put Gore in there. Uh, and Matthew, as you can see, is suspended. So, uh, who is the option on the left? Who do I have down on the left? Warner. Lawson Warner. Yeah, actually, I was hoping to give you a bit more playing time as it was. Um, okay. My little 16-year-old. I mean, there are a lot of 16-year-olds in this squad, to be fair. Um, right, everyone else seems to be reasonably healthy. How's the bench looking? Uh, about as diverse as I can get it whilst maintaining a little bit of quality. Mm. Yep, that'll have to do. Right, let's crack on. Uh, oh, I think I should go attacking. Hmm. Okay, well, we start positive. Uh, right, well, we've already done the lineup, so let's submit the team. <coughs> and go four changes from the last game, which is less than I thought it might be. Okay, right. Well, we never press him. We seem to be keen on the never press people. Right, pick up where you left off last time. Out. Let's motivate a couple of them. My defenders, see, they're just... It's like talking to statues. Right, there you go on, Yasne. It's just a shame. Him, I mean, our two best players just don't want to be here next season. Uh, I keep on getting the advice to, oh, put them on the transfer list, otherwise we might miss out if they run down their contract. They're worth nothing. I'm not going to sell them for anything, am I? I'm not going to get anything out of them. I mean, admittedly, if I put them on the transfer list, the transfer window doesn't open until after our season finishes, so they'll still be here all season. Um, but it just seems pointless trying to sell someone that we're not going to get any money for in the first place. Uh, yeah, we're always keen to attack. Um... Uh, these things happen. Just have to score to make sure we don't miss him. Why have I not picked him? Well, because he's slightly tired. That's why. Have you seen his condition? He's a bit knackered, mate. Taking a bit of a rest. Honestly. You're questioning my decisions. How dare you, sir. Alright. Come on, boys. There we go. Controlling the possession again. Let me start getting some shots on target, lads. Shots on target, boys. Shots on target. No, on target, lads. On target. Right, here we go. Come on. Warner. Oh, it's there! Ronaldo Flowers. It is really a shame that, what's that, nine of our goals so far this season have been scored by the two players who do not want to be here when their contract expires. So any long-term success is going to be entirely reliant on either persuading them to stay or finding a replacement for them. 
and I don't know as either is going to be possible because I haven't seen anyone who can even come close to replacing them at the moment that's been available. Oh, Rivera. I'm not entirely sure who you were flicking that onto there, son. Oh, there we go. It's the ball over the top, but oh, good block. Well done. You actually played that well. Good lord. And this had this highlight's still going. Hello. Right, Brown. Now, see, you are a winger, so you could cross that in or just give it to someone else to cross in. But that's why I don't mind Brown in that position, because when he gets up that end of the pitch, he should know what he's doing. It is the other end of the pitch that we have one or two problems with him. Um, but, you know, as you can see, he's played half an hour of the game so far. He's playing a 6.9 now, so he's actually a, a 7. My God, a 7. More. What is he doing out there? He's just absolutely done played a worldie for like about 10 minutes. Tell me he's off. Thank you. Thank you, linesman. Assistant, whatever you are these days. God, I miss the days when they were just linesmen. Uh, right. <laughs> well, they haven't managed a shot on target. We've dominated possession. We've scored a goal. We're doing all right, boys. Keenan Walsh is not playing well. He needs to buck his ideas up. He's supposed to be a bloody fullback. Right. I know you're capable of better. Right. Let's just, let's just have a quick word with Keenan Walsh. Right. Not happy with you tonight. Motivated. Good lad. Well done. Come on. Pull your finger out. Right. Come on, boys. Let's keep control in this game. Get a second goal. No, this is the wrong end. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Brown. Go on. Play it up line. Didn't realise there was anyone over there. Flowers and Rivero hanging out together. There we go. Graham Brown swings it in. Oh, my word. That's wayward. It was a, you know, first time volley and everything, but mm, really could have done with it. If you'd just hit it straight, it probably would have gone in. Hey, four shots on target. Wow. I mean, again, we are dominating the game now. We're probably going to have people who are getting a little bit knackered. Yes, Rolanda, Ronaldo Flowers for a start. So let's get Joseph on. Um, and mm, now, can Richards convert to box to box a little bit, maybe? Uh, well, actually, uh, hmm. well, let's stick Isaac on because Keenan Walsh still isn't playing well. So let's let's put him on fresher legs, and we're facing someone who's not playing too well. Let's go with that. Okay, come on, let's steal this ball back. Steal it back, boys. Or just let them run straight forward. Oh, no. Come on, come on, keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Go on, Bramble, that's yours. Right, you've got time. There we go. Knock it across. Get it upfield. Get it get it away from our end. Go on, Knight. There we go. Gore. Warner. Back to Gore. Working it nicely. Oh, there we go. Patient build-up. Gore, Joseph Graham. Oh, tipped over. Good save. Graham's having a good game. Cracking strike. No. Gore. Don't, no, this isn't going anywhere. Okay, right. Good header. Oh, Joseph. Oh, what a lovely finish from Javon Joseph. <laughs> Dinks it over the keeper. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Rivero plays him in. Oh, lovely finish. Beautiful stuff, Javon. Glad I signed you now. We got him about a day or two before deadline day. He was just our scouts fan. Didn't even fully scout him. Just came up as like sort of a recommendation. You should really sign this boy. And it's like, well, we need a right winger. All right then. And lo and behold, he signed. Oh, oh my God, Graham! How did you not score that? Rivero has done everything 
and set you up on a plate and you've just somehow spooned that away from the goal. Okay. See if we can get a third. That will really kill it, surely. Even we can't throw away a three-goal lead from there. Surely. Don't necessarily trust us with a two-goal lead. Okay. Joseph. Oh! Was that in the area? Apparently it was. Who's, who's taking this? It's Isaac, apparently. Oh! Fires it down the middle, but gets away with it. As long as the keeper barely moved. It's all about power. 3 0. Comfortable win. Don't don't give him a goal, boys. Uh, you're going to try, though, aren't you? Oh, good save. Well done, Benjamin. Saved it with his legs, see? Doesn't need arms. Which is lucky, because he never seems to bloody use them. Oh, hello. Oh. Well, that took a severe left turn when it landed, didn't it? Okay. 3-0. Another quality performance. I'm happy with the result and the way you played. Double whammy, boys. Uh, yep, lovely. Take advantage of that. And there we are. A five-point lead at the top. And, I mean, hoppers can still get within a point of us, but, I mean, we will take that. I mean, we should, we're almost safe from relegation, which is all they needed to do this season. I mean, 23 points, only 30 game season. We probably only need about another 10. Now, if we can't get 10 points in 21 games, then we don't deserve to stay up. <laughs> right. Well, let's move on. Oh, just save the game. And right, let's have a look at the schedule. How are we doing? Right, as you can see, December is horrendously busy. Um... So what we might do is, uh, ah, now, Hoppers, that might be the game, live on TV as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll play through and we'll come back for the Hoppers game just before, or the two games just before Christmas, Hoppers and All Saints United, who we played on the opening day. And uh, let's hope we're still top. Okay, well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell to be alerted to new content.